get this the shady spot you get the sunny spot I'm sorry about that I wish it was the other way but that's why we have it so uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that it's a it, but it is a glorious day isn't it, isn't it a beautiful day uh, I'm, yesterday uh, our, the, the service before uh, the children's service uh, talked about clouds and looking for things in the clouds I see a dragon right now wow. <laughs> I don't know what you see. Well, you're supposed to see what you're supposed to see. But you can't see unless you look. Right? You know, and, and the thing is that we, we go around during our day all the time and we don't look up very, very often, do we? We sort of look down and, and go about our business and we are called to look up. The heavens declare the glory of God. Amen. Are there announcements? Um, I, I, I think the main announcement we need to make, uh, to, well, a couple, there's a, we're, we're going to be doing The Chosen here shortly, and, and I don't think we've uh, quite decided on a time yet, is that true? So if you're interested in seeing The Chosen, there are little, uh, little cards that you can, you can fill out and circle the time that you'd like, or you can just come up and tell me. Uh, there are several dates that are available. Um, dates and times, and so we're going to be doing uh, the shows in the next couple of weeks. So that'll be that'll be upcoming. Uh, and if you haven't uh, put your marker down for a for a time, do so. Uh, the other thing I do uh, want to be sure that we mention is that Tuesday, this Tuesday at 6 p.m., um, we'll be having our annual SPRC meeting. So if you're a member of the SPRC, you need to be at that meeting. It's a Zoom meeting, so we'll be doing it at the church, but you can also, if you need to do it from your home, you can contact Barbara and she'll give you the, the um, code to get into the Zoom meeting. That's, again, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Are there other announcements? Well then, let us take a moment to pass the peace with one another. This is the 
first time that I've been uh, part of the block party where we've been outside, and uh, and uh, I, I know something's going to go wrong. <laughs> Because that is, that is the way of things. When you don't do the same, thing. I have faith. I have absolute faith that we will we will we will be very good with with or without mistakes, uh, without papers blowing around, and, and you know the, the thing is we get caught into habits sometimes. And there, this is a good time to, to pull us up out of the ordinary and do something new and different, and enjoy the beauty of creation. And I and I'd like to. Uh, Invite Pastor Eduardo to come up with me and, and share the call to worship. Come on up. Just had a birthday. Who? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Eduardo. Happy birthday. Please, join me in the call to worship. We gather together today, proclaiming God's love and seeking God's blessing. In gratitude we come, proclaiming our gratitude and seeking to live out our love. Amen. Our opening hymn is spirit. I'm sorry. Let's hear it in Portuguese. No, no, no. Nós nos reunimos hoje proclamando o amor de Deus e buscando a bênção de Deus. Em gratidão, viemos proclamar nossa gratidão buscando viver nosso amor. Amen. That's right. Thank you. Let us stand now as we sing together Spirit of the Living God, number 393. We'll sing it twice. and strength. Your unconditional love and support has seen me through every challenge. I am deeply grateful for all you have done for me. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. It is good to have the choir back. Here now, the scriptures. I read first from Psalm 19, verses 1 through 4. The heavens are telling of the glory of God. Secondly, from the book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 8, 7 and 8. To all God's, God's beloved in Rome who are called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is proclaimed throughout the world. Please rise in body or spirit for the reading of the gospel. Luke 
chapter 22, verses 14 and through 20. When the hour came, he took his place at the table and the apostles with him. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup, and after the things he said, Take this, and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same thing with the cup after the supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. This is the word of the Lord. Please be seated. Some of our uh, brothers, our Haitian brothers, will praise the God with our singing. And right after, I will bring us a quick reflection for us. Good morning, everybody. My name is Daina. My husband came. Hier n'est 
My brothers and sisters, esse é o trabalho que nós temos realizado aqui no culto à noite. Um, this is the job that we have realized here at the, um, the churches at night. Acolher os imigrantes. To help the immigrants. Acolher as pessoas que recém chegaram aqui nos Estados Unidos. Um, to help the people who have recently arrived here in the United States. Dando o suporte espiritual. By giving them spiritual support. Dando suporte material também. By also helping them with material things. E vendo a graça de Deus se expandir sem limites e sem fronteira. And seeing God's grace expand with no limits. Foi para isso que Deus nos chamou. And this is why God has called upon us. Para amar a todos. To love all. Independente de qualquer circunstância ou situação. Without depending on any circumstances. Eu pus um tema que se chama o esquecimento que leva à exclusão. So our theme for today is the forget forgetfulness that leads to exclusion. Eu quero ler em Lucas capítulo 23 do verso 41 ao 43. Um, I wanted to do a Bible reading with you guys, which is Luke 23, um, from 41 to 43. Verse 41. Nós, na verdade, estamos recebendo a justiça com que os nossos atos merecem. Mas este homem não fez nada de mal algum. We are indeed, re we are indeed receiving with justice what our deeds deserve, but this man has done no wrong. Então disse Jesus, então disse, Jesus, lembra-te de mim quando entrares no teu reino. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into our kingdom. Jesus lhe respondeu, em verdade te digo que hoje estarás comigo no paraíso. And Jesus responded him, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. A introdução eu foquei neste homem que estava preocupado em ser lembrado. So for my introduction, I wanted to focus on this man who was worried about being remembered. A primeira frase do homem que foi preso com Jesus, lembra-te de mim quando chegar no paraíso. Isso mostra uma vida de esquecimento e exclusão. The first sentence of the man who was arrested with Jesus, Remember me when I get to paradise. Shows a life of forgetfulness and exclusion. Como é triste 
uma existência familiar de exclusão e esquecimento. Ser excluído pelo pai, pela mãe e por todos os irmãos, isso pode impossibilitar que tenhamos o sucesso na vida. How sad is it to have a family existence of exclusion and oblivion, to be excluded by your father, mother, and all of your siblings, which can make it impossible for us to succeed in our personal and psychological lives. Existe um existir em um país que não se preocupa com os seus cidadãos, que não lembra de produzir dignidade coletiva dando-lhe a oportunidade de estudar e trabalhar com dignidade. Existing in a country that doesn't take care about its citizens, that doesn't remember producing collective dignity, giving them the opportunity to study and work with dignity. Uma religião que não se preocupa, uma religião que só se preocupa em excluir as pessoas com códigos morais, com performance estereotizada, que nada tem a ver com o evangelho com a graça de Deus. A religion that is only concerned with excluding people with moral codes and externalized performances that have nothing to do with God's gospel and the grace of God and is addicted to asking for money. Essa é uma parte que talvez a biografia desse homem não é mostrada. That can be a part that the biography of the man that it's not shown que a gente não sabe, that we don't know. mas o desejo dele era ser lembrado. But his wish was to be e qual a circunstância que levou esse homem a querer ser lembrado? In what that man to be Será que ele não foi esquecido por sua família? Was he by his Será que ele não foi esquecido pelo governo? Was he by the Será que ele não foi esquecido pelos amigos? E tal contexto existencial In all of that context, o levou a ser o que ele era. Mas no último momento, But at that last moment, mas na hora em que todas as esperanças tinham acabado, that second where all of his hopes had ended. quando a gente pensa que não tem mais saída, quando pensamos que não tem mais saída, Aquele homem que foi a vida inteira esquecido. Ele vira para Jesus e diz, lembra-te de mim. E Jesus disse, hoje estarás comigo no paraíso. E Jesus disse, hoje estarás comigo no paraíso. Como Jesus é diferente de nossas propagandas religiosas. How Jesus is so different from our religious propaganda. <laughs> sem eucaristia e sem batismo. With no baptism. Sem participar da santa ceia. Without uh, being a part of the uh, of the religion. Sem fazer um discipulado. Without um, learning more about the gospel. Jesus afirma que ele estaria no paraíso. Jesus affirms that he will be with him in paradise. Porque o que de fato importa não é a exterioridade humana, a aparência humana. Because what does matter is not the human stereotypes. Mas aquilo que sai da alma humana. But what comes out of your human soul? Como está a sua alma? How is your soul? Deus tem sempre um paraíso interior para nós. God always has an internal paradise for us. E nesse paraíso não tem divisão. And in that paradise there is no division. O que existe é graça. What exists is grace, amor, love, compaixão, compassion, e misericórdia. And forget forgiveness. Tudo isso vence todas as nossas diferenças. Porque o amor é tudo. Because love is everything. E feliz é quem ama. And happy is who loves. Deus abençoe vocês em nome de Jesus. God bless you all. God's name. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you so Thank much. You.
from a different place, a different family, a different understanding, a different language. But we are all God's children. And we think we are excluded, but we are not. We are the sons and daughters of the Most High. We are united, we are the, we are united in the love of God. And I pray, God, we find that unity again. And we have been so fractured over the last years. There's a Sufi poet who I like rather a lot. His name was Rumi. And he had this to say about this thing right here, this odd piece of metal right here is called an astrolabe. And with it, mariners find their way across the ocean. What Rumi said was, the astrolabe of all the mysteries is in love. If you want to find your way anywhere, look to the astrolabe of love. trouble thanking, being thankful in, in ordinary circumstances. Yesterday I walked into a, a, a grocery store and the first thing I did was look around and, and think about how much that grocery store wants to, me to buy stuff. <laughs> look at all the displays, they just want me to buy stuff. <laughs> And I went, to the, I went to the counter and I had only one item and I go to the self-checkout line and it won't work for me. It won't take cash and it won't fix it. And I, and I'm just, I got frustrated. And then I, just, I, I remembered I do not have to live in that world. I am called to live in a different way. But I find it hard to do that sometimes, don't you? Doesn't the world irritate you from, from time to time? The world wants you to live in fear. We're outside today. I was looking over materials for the week and I, and I was looking at a book right here. It's called The Sermons of John Wesley. It's collected sermons uh, and on the cover you see John Wesley preaching. I know you can't see it from here, but it, John Wesley was a small man. He was about five foot four. So he's standing on top of something, and all around him, people, people are paying rapt attention. They're just looking up at him, and one woman has her hands to her chin, and she's just looking up, and the, there are others that have got their heads down because they've been convicted of what he's saying. It's such a powerful image, and it's outside the church. that Wesley is praying, and it's outside the church because he is not allowed to be inside the church because he's spoken words that the church doesn't want to hear. And he is moreover speaking on top of his father's tomb. John Wesley gave those sermons on top of his father's tomb. And I think of us sitting out here today 
John Wesley walked into the world. He didn't expect the world to come to him. He went out to it. And the world wants us to be afraid. And one of the sermons that people had such trouble with was a sermon called The Spirit of Fear and the Spirit of Adoption. And he said that you can live in one of two ways. You can live in fear. And you can live in anger. And you can live in feeling like the world needs to change rather than you needed to change. We all want the world to change. But the world will never change until we change. We can live in a spirit of fear, or we can live as adopted sons and daughters of God. You are loved beyond all measure, and there is nothing that you can do about it. And once you know that, Don't let anybody ever tell you that being a Christian is easy. It is not. It takes work, and effort, and failure. That's how we grow, by making mistakes. Try it again. One of the ways that we can work is by being grateful. And beloved, I have so much thankful that we have Eduardo and his community and that we get to share worship. I am thankful for Margarita who puts up with so much. I am thankful for Mario who makes sure that we can we can share this with others. I'm thankful for Barbara who's always there. I am thankful for Linda, who is my guiding light. I am thankful for Cindy. I am thankful for Annette, who always lifts me up. Every time I see her, she makes me feel better with her smile, gets things together. Every one of us is part of a community. And I am so thankful for every one of you. And that's the, that's the spirit that I want to live into. Once you know that you are loved, then get to work. This is our creation, given to us by God. What are we going to do with it? Every step that we take, every action that we take, makes this world a better place or a worse place. There is no in-between. What I see here, beloved community, want to love God and want to love each other. We certainly make mistakes. We certainly are, are a long way from being perfect in that. But that's part of the journey. But you can't start unless you step forward. Praise God. There's a man here named Chris that we are all very thankful for. We are a community of believers. Let us go make creation whole again by looking to the Lord and 
looking to love one another. Amen. And God bless you all. Now, let us give back a portion of that which we have been so richly given. so easily the clothes on our backs the food at our table 
the friends around us. Lord, we are sorry when we forget the glory of your creation and we are not thankful for it. Lord, give us a thankful and grateful heart. Be with all those who are sick in body, mind, or spirit. Let them know that they are loved and that your grace abounds as we pray the prayer that you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our closing hymn is in the little black hymnal, The Faith We Sing, number 2186, Song of Hope. Amen.